Okay, so when we're trying to get this button to work and we're trying to we attach canvas here, the first thing that we actually need to do, so we've got our button script written, but the button script has to actually be applied to the canvas before it'll work. So if we click on canvas um, and we have this button script, we can drag this button script onto the canvas. Um, now I've noticed a mistake that I made. If you look at pickup script here, um, in this else if command, uh, if it's tagged as level 1n, um, you need to lo load scene level complete, um, and that needs to be the name of the scene. However, um, when I created level complete, I put a space there, so le that level, that script won't work. So I'm going to take this space out, level complete. So it's always important to be consistent with your naming, and it's mistakes happen. Um, so now that scene is level complete. Now um, the button script is attached to canvas. And now what we're going to do is we are going to, um, uh, we've got to set, we've got to set these button, the button feature so that for this button, um, we need to tell the button what's going to happen on click. So to tell it what's going to happen on click, we click here, we select canvas because it's a script that's attached to the canvas. Um, and then here in the no function, we need to choose button script and it's there because we attached it to the canvas. And then um, we level to button string, that's the else if command that we made. Um, and so we're gonna click there. And so now that's gonna work. So. Um, or it should work. So if we go back to, let's just command S and let's just take one more look here. Um, yeah, good, good. Okay, so now we have a canvas with a button. The button has script that says um, load scene level two using this level two button thing. So this level, this is the button script. If we changed this to um, level five, when this button gets clicked, uh, level five will get opened. Um, okay, so now we have the button working on our canvas. We have the collider um, on our platform. Um, now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to build, do our build settings. So um, to do the build settings, we go file, build, settings, not build and run, build settings. And okay, this is, mine looks, you, I have all this here, but if you haven't built yours before, um, whichever scene you have open, which right now that is uh, this level complete scene, you can just say add open scenes and then you might have to double click on level one and then add open scene, double click level two, add open scenes. But I can see here that I have level one, level two and level complete without typos are here. So I'm just gonna say build. And what this does, I'm gonna name it here, endless runner build, save, replace. Um, and so what this is going to do is it's going to run this build and basically Unity is going to now understand that within this game there are three levels that are accessible. So until you build, um, the levels haven't been recognized. Okay, so uh, now if we do a little test, hello, yeah, sorry, okay. We're done here, you can close that. And so everything's there. Um, now we're not completely done, but let's just do a little test and see if things are working. So if we go to level one and we press play. And we run through at our outstanding speed. Now, when we hit the collider, hallelujah. So it worked. Um, but I, I did have a lot of troubles with like putting the script in the wrong place or naming things incorrectly or whatever else. So if you have any troubles, just put them in the comments and hopefully we can help you out so you can get it sorted out. So now we have um, level one, 
level two. Oh, we forgot to check and see. Let's just check and see if we go into play mode. Let's see what happens if I click play level two. It works. It's purple. There are more oil cans. I have greater potential to get a greater negative score. <laughs> okay, so now um, we have uh, uh, level complete text, feedback, play level two, button that works. You could now use the same strategies to make a play level one button and open level one. Just kind of edit the code a little bit. And uh, I'm going to stop there, but in the next video, I am going to show you how to import uh, the score from the previous level and give uh, special feedback based on whatever score the person got.